Pineapple in Costa Rica has been around for a long time in agricultural landscape. However, it was really around the year 2000 where there was an exponential growth in production and export because there was a new variety that was tested and was very successful in the tests and was very liked by the market. So from then we've had an exponential growth of around 700% growth in these last 16 years. Uh, that means that uh, the pineapple has been increasing the area year by year and it means a lot of externalities regarding water, uh, contamination of water sources for some communities in the Caribbean side of the country and in the northern area of Costa Rica. It has a huge impact also in deforestation. Maybe it's one of the drivers of deforestation in Costa Rica. So it means a, a great impact. During all this period between the 80s and now, there is no spaces of dialogue between government, producers and local communities and NGOs in our country. So the platform is providing this space to put together and find the solutions. Uh, the, the platform provides the tools and provides the space to develop a, a national response to uh, all the questions regarding the pineapple production in our country. One of the actions that this multi-stakeholder process uh, came up with was the development of a land use change monitoring system that is tied to land tenancy rights. What it does is that it basically produces a map every single year of two things. One is the total area cover of the commodities, in this case pineapple, but eventually it will add on other commodities. Uh, and this map is published through a web that is owned by the National Registry that also owns the, the National Cadaster, the land titling information. And basically, it means that you can correlate where pineapple expansion is taking place and who the owner of this pineapple is. That's one product. The other product is the issuing of a, of a map that it's linking that land cover of, of pineapple with land titling, checking out whether there is loss or gain of forest cover within that area. But on the other hand, what's important of the system is that companies with no cost will be able to go into this site, companies buying pineapple from Costa Rica, will be able to go into this site and find out if the, if the farm where they are sourcing from the pineapple is a increasing forest cover or is decreasing forest cover, which is basically illegal. So the companies are going to be able to look after their reputation. I think when we have all the actors working together in a platform, we can find simple solutions to really complex problems because all the actors involved in the production are also involved in the search of solutions to try to improve the performance in the environmental, in the social and the economical side of the production of pineapple. That's my hope when everybody in the world talk about Costa Rica and pineapple have the image of a clean process to produce pineapple <clears throat> and also an engine to develop the most depressed communities in our country.